There is a single scene in Rodgers and Hammerstein's 1945 musical Carousel that forever changed musical theater and musical theater conventions. It is the infamous bench scene. As Stephen Sondheim said, probably the singular most important moment in the evolution of contemporary musicals. Let's review the way plots unfolded in the stereotypical musical comedy of the 20s and 30s. To kick off the love plot, a boy and a girl would meet, maybe even in a park with a bench. At first, they'd flirt. The girl would be standoffish. Then the boy would woo her with a song, often leading into a dance. And the audience would go, aw, don't they make a nice couple? Applause, applause, applause. Then they'd disappear for a scene or two before their romance progressed. While in this scene, for these 12 minutes, dialogue and song weave seamlessly in and out. And while previously songs meant to serve a single message, Gosh, that lady is a tramp! Oh yes she is! Let me sing you a song listing all the ways she's a tramp. I never bother with people that I hate That's why this chick is a tramp <laughs> While in this scene, there is a clear and deep progression of story. The music itself is glorious and beautiful. The aesthetics and symbolism very pleasing. The characters so well-rounded and vulnerable. For the third scene of Carousel, their dramatic challenge would seem simple enough. How to make the two lead characters, a quirky, independent-minded mill worker named Julie Jordan and Billy Bigelow, a barker at the local carousel who is a self-assured, egocentric blowhard, fall in love with each other. But these were complex characters, with nuanced defenses, reservations, in other words, mature personalities. Julie and Billy couldn't just proclaim some sort of adolescent unbridled affection for each other simply to move the plot forward. They were longing to tell each other their deepest feelings, but they were also, as Hammerstein eventually put it, afraid and shy. Like in many of the musicals, they can't quite say they love each other. And the entire process, the whole story is about coming to a point where they can actually say that. It's always, if I loved you, it's always conditional. They never really come out and say it. And just all of it makes it one of the finest crafted scenes in musical theater history. The rest of this video, we will watch the bench scene along with the score. Commentary at the top will come from a companion article written by Lawrence Maslin. The whole article is beautiful and fascinating and worth a read. It can be found on the official Rogers and Hammerstein website and a link is in the description. Well, and then what happened? Uh-huh. You were telling me about that girl from Coney Island. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, so um, one night I'm putting the lights out on the carousel, see, and this girl, she... Say, tell me something. Ain't you scared of me? I mean, after what that cop said about me taking money from girls? I ain't scared. Is that your name? Julie? Julie something? Julie Jordan You're a queer one, Julie Jordan Ain't you sorry that you didn't run away You can still go if you wanna I reckon that I care to choose to stay you couldn't take my money if I didn't have any And I don't have a penny, that's true And if I did have money, you couldn't take any Cause you'd ask and I'd give it to you You're a queer one, Julie Jordan Have you ever had a fella you give money to? No Ain't you ever had a fella at all? No Or you must have had a fella you went walking with? Yes Where'd you walk? Special I recall In the woods No On the beach No Did you love him? No, I never loved nobody, I told you that <laughs> You're a funny kid Say, you wanna go into town and uh, dance maybe? Or no, get... I have to be careful Of what? Of my character you see, I'm never gonna marry. I'm never gonna marry. If I was gonna marry, I wouldn't have to be such a stickler. But I'm never gonna marry, and a girl who don't marry has got to be much more particular. What if I was to say I'd marry you? You? 
scares you, don't it? You're thinking about what that cop said. No, I ain't. I, I never paid no mind to what he said. Yeah, but you wouldn't marry anyone like me, would you? Yes, I would. If I loved you, it wouldn't make no difference what you... Well, even if I died for it. How do you know what you'd do if you loved me, or how you'd feel, or anything? I don't know how I'd know. Ah. Just the same. I know how I... How it'd be if I loved you. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I'd gaze absent-minded at the roof. And half the time the shuttle, the tangle in the thread, and the warp it'd get mixed with the woof. If I loved you. But you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see just exactly how I be. If I loved you time and again, I would try to But you don't love me. It's what you said, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I can smell them. Can you? The blossoms. Much wind tonight, hardly any. You can't hear a sound, not the turn of a leaf or the fall of a wave hitting the sand. The tide's creeping up on the beach like a thief, afraid to be caught stealing the land. On a night like this, I start to wonder what life is all about. And I always say two heads are better than one. 
to figure it out. I don't need you or anyone to help me. I gotta figure it out for myself. We ain't important. What are we? A couple of specks of nothing. Look up there. There's a hell of a lot of stars in the sky And the sky's so big the sea looks small And two little people, you and I We don't count at all You're a funny kid. <laughs> Don't remember ever meeting a girl like you. You! You trying to get me to marry you? No! Then what's putting it into my head? You're different, all right. I don't know what it is, but... You look up at me with that... that little kid face... like you trusted me. I wonder what it'd be like. What? Nothing. I know what it'd be like. It'd be awful if I can just see myself. Kinda scrawny and pale, picking at my food, and lovesick like any other guy. I'd throw away my sweater and dress up like a dude in a dicky and a collar and a tie. If I loved you. But you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see just exactly how I'd be. I'm not a fella to ever get married. Even if a girl was foolish enough to want me to, I wouldn't. Don't worry about it, Billy. Who's worried? You're right about there being no wind tonight. The blossoms are just coming down by themselves. Just their time to, I reckon. 